In this video, I will show you how to add a clock widget in Windows 11. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see on my Windows 11 desktop. Now to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up an internet browser. And once you've done that, you want to come across to this website, which is rainmeter.net. Now on here, you're going to see the download button on the home screen. Give this a click to download this onto your PC. And then what you can do is open up the download to install this onto your PC. So you just want to run through the installation, get this installed on your PC. And once that's installed, what you can do is click finish and that's going to load up Rainmeter on your PC. So this is what it looks like. Now by default, it's going to have some skins preloaded. So if we come back to my desktop, you can see there's a few different widgets already showing. All we need to do to get rid of these is right click onto each one. And on this menu that comes up, come down and click the unnote skin option. So we just want to repeat this for the three skins up here too. So we're just going to right click, click onto unnote skin for all of these. Once that's done, what you can then do is come back to your internet. Then what we're going to do is use another website, which is called visualskins.com. So if you come across, it's going to look like this. And from here, if we scroll down a bit you can see there's an option here for rain meter clocks so if you give this a click you're going to see some different style clocks that we can download in this example i'm just going to download the elegant clock widget which is this one here so click onto the clock that you want to download there's quite a few ads on here saying download ignore these ads just scroll down and look for the blue download button so you can see that's this one here give that a click to download this onto your pc and once that's done click onto the file itself and it's going to open up a window like this now at this point you want to make sure this this box here is ticked and also this box is ticked which says load included skins and then click onto the install button so it just takes a second or two to install and once that's done what you can do is come back to your desktop what we're now going to do is come down to the bottom right hand corner and click onto this arrow which says show hidden icons now in here you want to look for rain meter so it's this kind of like water drop symbol just here and all you want to do is click on the rain meter logo which is going to open up a window like this now you should see the skin so the widget you downloaded to the clock widget so you can see mine's here elegant clock and if we click onto the arrow next to this we're going to see our two files so we've got dark clock and light clock of course this depends on if you've got like the dark theme enabled for windows 11 or the light theme so you can choose whichever one you want in this example i'm going to go ahead and choose the dark clock as it looks better on the light theme of course if you're using the dark theme, it's better to use the light clock. Now, all you need to do is simply double click onto the one that you want to use. And what it's going to do is add this to your desktops. What we can now do is just go ahead and close down the rain meter window, just like so. As you can see, the clock is up here in the top left hand corner. Or we can move this just by clicking onto it. And we can drag this pretty much anywhere we want on our screen, just like so. So I could put it like here. If you want to click in the bottom right hand corner about here. And as you can see, you can drag it around and put this wherever you want. So that is how to add a clock widget in Windows 11. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if if this did help you out i would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel with that being said i just want to take a minute thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and i will see you in the next video